from Carl's Crafts. Welcome back if you've been before and hi if this is your first time. I'm just hearing the dogs just run upstairs <laughs> hiding under the bed because I won't play ball with her. But hey, how's your day going? I come today because I've got an unboxing from, I think this is Treasure Studio Arts. Did it say? No, it didn't say on it. But I presume it's that one. Can't think what else it could be. Right, let's open it with you lot. I did receive this last week, but I didn't get a chance to open it. So, it looks like one of their boxes, doesn't it? So it's wrapped in bubble wrap. And box is not too bad. A couple of little dents, but nothing major. That's why we have the, the, the box. Then it says, one, supplies. Remove all of the items from the package and lay out on the canvas on a clean, flat surface. Do view the chart on your canvas to match the colours of diamonds to the symbols that you will get start, started on. Pour a small amount of diamonds in the tray. Three, peel back a small section of the plastic film to work on at one time. Four, gel. Peel back the clear plastic on the wax and dip the tip of the applicator to fill it with wax. Five, Applicator or pen, pick up a diamond with the applicator and place it onto its corresponding symbol on the canvas. Then when finished, frame and hang. There you go. So all you need to know. Uh, right, which end? Which end? Uh, so this should be my phoenix, if I'm right. Hang on, let me get the details up so I can, if I'm right. Oh, does it say on one of the end? Yes, it is. See? By Nicola Payne, a 40 by 50 phoenix. But if you remember, I'm working on the dragon sword. But I wanted the phoenix as well. So I have that one. Anything else? I think that's it. Is it clear? Can you see? Nothing in there? Whoop, there you go. You can sort of see. I have got a half cup of coffee because I still haven't drunk it. I made it before I cleaned the microwave and then I decided I'd do this. It's got a lovely little bag with Treasure Studio Arts on it. So let's we have a look at the tool kit. So some of you might not have seen this. Yeah. Free placer, which I love because that's about the only one I, <laughs> I can use. I am trying to use a, a four placer. I'm trying to work my way up. I think that's probably a six placer. And that's probably a nine placer. Does it say on it? No, it doesn't say on it. And then you've got a sparkly diamond pen. So that's all you need. All you need is a one-ended pen and you're away to go. But they put three different places in. <sighs> Your pinky tweezers. It would be nice if it had Treasure Studio Arts on there just to finish it off. But I love these tweezers. I use them for all sorts. I use them for my cross stitching as well. So when I'm frogging. Because they're rounded. They don't scrape the, the fabric. So See? I can just pull the fabric out. So I, they have multiple uses. So that one will go in my cross stitch kit now because I keep having to pinch the one that's in my diamond painting pen pot. You've got a tray with a funnel, which is great, some wax, a spongy thing that you put on your pen and it's supposed to, for comfort, squidgy squadgy. So you've got everything you need there. You don't need anything else to get you started. So if you're new to diamond painting, and this is the first one you ever want to order, everything, everything's there. So right, let's have a look. There's it. Now let me get on to, this was $38.06, which works out about, think about 30 pound roughly English money and it's 40 by 50 and it was something like it was nine dollars 64 shipping 
which is about eight quid. I think I worked it out the other day. Um, which I didn't think was bad for post postage. But it does take nearly two months to get to you. But as long as you don't mind waiting two months, then hey ho, isn't it? Right, the canvas. I'm trying to look what it says. It's not a poured glue, this one. So I'm trying to think what, what it's exactly what it's called. I should have been more prepared, shouldn't I? Ah, oh, here it is. It's a strong industrial strength of D -D adhesive, which is on their canvases, which is with a clear protective film over the adhesive. It's called, the adhesive is called Mountain Adhesive Film. This is detail adhesive is one of the world's strongest industrial adhering materials. Our adhesive is waterproof and has a high heat resistance. It is used for many industrial applications such as attaching large indoor and outdoor signs to surfaces such as glass and wall. walls. In addition, it is used to help preserve museum artwork and family photographs. It is acid free meaning it won't yellow or eat away the canvas or deteriorate. It also boasts long-lasting adhesion to almost any surface, including electronic parts, devices and motor, and motor vehicles. Our thicker outer protective covering indicates that a high-quality adhesive has been used. The thicker the cover, the stronger the adhesive. If it's a flimsy cover, has been used on a diamond painting, this means that the glue is not going to last the test of time before the drills start to fall off. And they guarantee to you you guarantee to receive at least 20 to 30 drills more than you will need as well and you've got a hundred percent money guarantee satisfaction guaranteed no questions asked as well with this company so do you want to see it the only thing you don't do with this one you can do it like with diamond art club but you do not roll it the opposite way so the way it's rolled is the way that you will have to roll it do not attempt to roll it in that way as you will knacker up the glue because of the type of glue that it is so all i'm going to do and you can feel the difference in the canvas as well but look all I've done is just literally opened it up, rubbed my hand over it, and it's pretty flat already. So can you see it? Can you see that? Isn't she beautiful? I'm saying it's a she. Who's going to argue? Who's going to tell me whether that's a she or a he, eh? It can be whatever you want, can't it? Sorry about the crinkles. I'm just going to get the, and they all come pre-bagged, sorry, I'll show you the colours in a minute, but they're all pre-bagged, I just wanted to get that out to show you, they do come with one of these, and look, that's what she's going to look like when she's finished, and it looks damn good in the camera, um, the camera at me so I can see it better. And then you've got all the symbols, and it's only got 25 colours. So as soon as the size of it is a 40 by 50, then that's quite surprising. That there's only 25. But the symbols, they all look really, really clear, as you can see on there. And with these, what I like as well when you get one of these sheets, is you can cut out this bit here and stick it to your bags if you want to if you don't want to don't want to use out of here you can say you're using freight um, harbour freight or something like that you can use these and stick them on your harbour freights or if you don't like working like that one there is a 600 so 600 is a seven and a d you can either write it on your little label there or cut that out and put it across the label if you want to work out the bags so we'll have a look at them in the middle. So we'll have a look at the canvas and then we'll look, look at that. Right, should we measure it? It should be 40 by 55 because if I don't measure it now, I will forget because I have got a mind of a sieve again today. So what does it say? 40. Just a smidge short of 40. 
we've got to give them a little bit and that is 54 that should be 55 so not far off i think the 55 is maybe their glue area yeah it is if you go on glue area it's where the end of the glue is is their 54 55 by 40 otherwise it's just under 40 by 54 which is ne neither here nor there is it really and the other thing i like let me i'm just doing my tape measure up because otherwise it will be unraveled on the floor is that they've got an index there and there and look at the size of it it's really big so it's easy to see a lot of these can be they're like little little thing down there and you've really got a squidge to to actually see oh gosh i thought i was going to sneeze then so you can see the symbols easily now i'm just looking from up here and if i take my glasses off i can't see a bloody thing and usually when i've got my glasses on it's really close work and i'm looking sort of down and i can still make out the symbols so that means they're crystal clear to me. So I'm going to bring it up nearer to you so you can see. How clear are they? They are crystal clear and they have no training wheels either. Oh, this is a round, sorry, I forgot to say. Seeing as this is a round, so you won't see like the little dark circles. But everything. They all look crystal, crystal clear. I can't see anything that's that is that just looks murky or blurred or anything. They look really, really clear. And I'm glad I got around because I want my dragon swords are square, and squares does take me a lot longer. Rounds it's a lot quicker, I find. But yeah, that is so much thicker than the normal ones you get. And that you're going to have no trouble with that. And that is lovely. So, yeah. And the canvas is in perfect condition. If you turn it over, you can see. Not nothing. No marks, no nothing. On that one. So I can't wait to start this one. I think it's lovely. Oh, what have I done to my camera? I knock it all the time out of the way. So yes, yeah, so I'm really chuffed. As I said, the canvas is is fine. It looks great. I have wrinkled it a bit there, but what I'll do is I'll pull it back and push it back down with a ruler after. Not that it would make any difference to the canvas at all. These type don't bubble or crease or anything or have rivers on them like you do like my um penguins that i've done i've caused wrinkling on that by putting the cover back down and leaving it near a heater but i'm just gonna hang oh, that's a dog i'm just gonna i'm gonna put this one away away i think but i'm not gonna put it by a heater though because um, i don't know when i'm gonna get around to that this one but I've got it, and that's what matters. I've got it. So it's here. So any time that I want to start it, I've got it. I've got a feeling if Millie sees this when she finishes. She hasn't diamond painted for a while. But when she finishes her Diamond Art Club one, I think she might want to do this one because she loves phoenixes. So what do you think? Have you had a Treasure Studio Arts? What's your favourite? So this is my second. The Dragon Sword was my first. And now I know that I've got to wait two week, two months um the only thing is i wouldn't be able to order um like i wouldn't have been able to order a halloween one i wouldn't be able to order a christmas one because i couldn't guarantee that i would get them like all the christmas ones come out now well it's nearly november so i wouldn't get it till the end of december do you know what i mean so it'd be no point even though they've just come out i couldn't order them because i wouldn't get them in time which is a shame because they've got some lovely Christmas ones. That's just me. That noise is me just pushing out the bubbles. Um, I've seen some nice Christmas ones, but no. 
I'm not having very good luck on, on picking stuff. I've ordered some stuff for Halloween and um, back in September, beginning middle of September, and I still haven't had it. And that's from somebody in the UK. And yeah, so I'm not taking any chances now. Unless I know for definite that I'm going to get something that's seasonal, I'm not going to order. So just be wary that if you're in the UK from Treasure Studio Arts. If you order the Christmas stuff now, you might not get it till the end of Christmas. And then you won't be able to do it because Christmas will have gone. If you're in the United States, I think you get them quite quickly over there. Or maybe it's just because I live in Wales. I don't know. But I do love it. And as I say, it was worth... Can you hear that? I put my ruler over it, I think. Give it a squash from your ruler. Yeah, so I'm chuffed to bits. As I say, it's going to be a bright, colourful... Oh, I haven't showed you the drills, have I? Oh, I am a nana. Why didn't you shout at me, Cal? You haven't showed us the drills. So they're all bagged up. They're not in orders, but they look like they're in sort of colours. They're 154, 150. That looks more sort of limey green on, on camera, but it's not. It's a dull, dull green. 725, 741, 798. Now that looks yellow, but that's quite a really light orange. 920, 746. That looks pretty much what it is. 814, 817. It's a nice red. 922, oh, that's a nice pink. Look how vibrant that is. 3607, a 3078, 33328. That looks like some static in there, doesn't it? 3806, these are nice pinks. 3608, 3833, they're lovely. Oh, that's a nice colour. 3839. I wonder if we've got any 3666s. 453. 720. That's like an orangey brown. 350. They're showing up a little bit brighter on camera than they are in real life, but that's fine. Now that's a 666. Look at that. That is a vibrant red. I think that's most people's favourite red size. That's a 600. That's like a pinky red. That's 600 is. And then finally, a 321. So that's a 3, a 2, a 1. <laughs> Sorry, people, some people don't know what I mean by that. But yeah, so I think we've got, we've got 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 24, 25. So they're all there. So I'm going to go through this now, make sure the numbers match up with what's on the chart, just to double check once I finish filming. And all that's left for me to say is thank you for joining me and having a look at what I got from Treasure Studio Arts. I'm much appreciated. If you're not subscribed, you might fancy to... Follow me along on, on my unboxings and my cross stitching and colouring and lives and all the different things that I do. We'd love to have you on board. Buttons down below. Also a notification button that will let you know when I go live, which is on a Sunday. And whenever I put a video up, which is usually a couple of times a week. And also all my social medias down below. Our Happy Mail form, my Patreon forms. They're all, all the details are down in the description. Or just leave a comment. I love reading your comments and answering them. Um, so all that's left for me to say is take care, look after yourselves, and most importantly, stay safe. Love you all. Bye.